Today, I want to show you how you can spot altcoin pumps to find profitable trades by using banter bubbles, but also combining it with the power of two AI softwares to help you find trades in this market. And the beauty of this strategy is it will not only help you find good long opportunities in the market, but, but it can also help you find short opportunities in the market. And by using machine learning and the AI tools that we now have at our disposal, you can hit a higher percentage of these trades um, and over time become a much more profitable investor. So without further ado, let's go into the strategy. Now, this strategy would not be possible without Bound to Bubbles. You guys have probably heard of it before, but in case you haven't, it's essentially an app which displays the best and the worst performers across any given time frame. So as you can see in front of you, I have the monthly time frame here. You can see that the market is mostly down, but you can use it to visually spot which old coins are up. So runes up uh, significantly over the month. So is Rollbit. If you were more of a day trader and you want to see what's up day to day, you could look on the lower time frames like the hourly, the four hourly, or today. Um, today, obviously, we've had you know Rollbit going up, Sui going up, uh, even PulseX going up. So it's a great visual reference for you to be able to find strong coins and weak coins in the market. Now, why is this so important? Strong coins in the market, especially in a bear market, are extremely important to identify because if Bitcoin makes a move to the upside, if you're noticing, let's say Bitcoin, Bitcoin is approaching a major breakout, let's say of range high, and it starts to break that level, what altcoins do you think are going to perform the best? The altcoins with relative weakness in the market or the altcoins with relative strength in the market? And the reason why identifying relative strength is so important is so when it comes to taking those breakout trades, when it comes to making market move when uh, market moves when the time calls, you want to be equipped with knowing what the strongest coins are and what the coins with the strongest trends are. So it all starts with trend identification. And an app like Banter Bubbles helps you with that initial stage of trend identification. So instead of you having to go into trading view and scrolling through lists and lists and lists of altcoins and trying to spot which ones are up, well, you can simply tweak based on your time frame uh, and monitor the alts that are up on an app like Banter Bubbles. So we know why trend identification is important. I shouldn't need to harp on it too much, but that is obviously the first step when it comes to becoming a successful trader and finding opportunities. So let's get here into the strategy. So what you want to do is you want to go onto the uh, time frame that corresponds with your trading style. So if you were using the weekly time frame, you're looking for those bigger breakout trades. So, you know, th those longer time frame trades that take a while to develop. If you are looking at, you know, the hourly time frame, then this might start to present opportunities intraday, which means opportunities are throughout a certain period of time, especially if, if you're a day trader, that's slightly less. So you might open like two or three trades a day. So you might prefer to use the hourly time frame. If you're opening, you know, one trade uh, every couple of days, then you might prefer to use the daily time frame or even the weekly for longer term setup. So for the example of this video, let's say you're kind of trying to uh, catch strong altcoins on the next Bitcoin move. In that case, you want to see what's been tracking over the last week because the last week will give you a good feel for in the current environment, what altcoins are performing well and what altcoins are performing badly. And you get all sorts of uh, giveaways and opportunities that pop up, which is also quite interesting. But here's what you can do. So I'm on the weekly time frame right now and there are a couple of outliers. So this is basically what I would do in my own time to spot trends in the market that are, uh, performing well. So I can see here, Bitcoin's doing okay. Most coins are down. You have Tommy doing extremely well, but two that stick out to me here because they're the biggest bubbles over the last week are Sui and Rollbit. Clearly something is happening with both of these coins for them to be up 20% on the week and everything else to be down. And if you go into the monthly as well, well, Rollbit actually also stands out at 138%. You also have Rune starting to come into the picture, but clearly Rune's trajectories died off a little bit after it had a really strong start to the month. So if we use the weekly time frame to contextualize this strategy, let's pick one of these coins. So let's say Sui or Rollbit. Now, you may see Sui here and you may want to start looking into it more. So you see it on Manta Bubbles, you spot it, you go, okay, this might be good for a trade. This might be an interesting project to hold long term, but I don't know anything about Sui. That's where AI can come in. AI can help you speed up the research project to learn more about opportunities that are presented to you. So 
You can use Banter Bubbles to find the altcoins that are performing well, but to find out more about the altcoins that are performing well, you can actually use Google Bard uh, to do a really quick summary and research it for you to stop you having to spend hours working out what a project is and what it does. I'll give you an example with Sui, and then I'll give you an example with Rollbit, and I'll show you how to how you would actually execute a trade off the back of that. So let's say Sui here, it's up on the week. You want to research more about it. You would simply go into Bard, and you can ask it, Bard, I want you to find the white paper uh, for the crypto project SUI. And we're asking it this so we can start to use it to aggregate um, and actually break down information. Now, in this case, it does give us the link. If we provide this link in a follow-up prompt um, and then we ask it for uh, a specific question, like what problem is it trying to solve? Now it will start to break down the white paper for us and give us information. This is great because we want a general overview of the project, especially if you're using banter bubbles to find new projects. So it gives us a summary here. It explains what SUI does. It explains the problems that it solves. Um, and it explains potentially why it, uh, why it has potential as well. You can also ask it, what are some of the biggest competitors? So if you want to work out whether a project has a moat, what other projects are in that niche, this is also a good follow-up prompt. And you can pretty much ask it whatever you want. If you want to ask it what its differentiating factors are, you can ask it what makes it better than some of the tokens that are listed here, like Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Cardano, who are clearly the competitors. And it will also give you a few distinct advantages as well. So super interesting that you can just learn about a project using Google Bard without having to scroll through Twitter or their white papers yourself, it'll automatically give you this information. Now let's go back to Banter Bubbles um, and let's either stay on the weekly time frame or go into the monthly time frame and pick another big winner, which is of course Rollbit, which has basically taken the crypto market by storm for various reasons. By the way, a little bit of clout collection, sorry to toot my own horn, but I did uh, call this on the show last week and said that I was buying at around, I think it was 13 to 14 cents almost 20 cents again at the time of recording here. So had an absolute rally over the last week. I'm glad I got in. If you haven't got in, that's okay. I think you can still wait for pullbacks. If you're bullish on the gamble fine narrative, I'm pretty bullish on it. Uh, there are some downsides when it comes to Robert, but you guys know if you've been watching the shows, my opinion on Robert, I've said it multiple times. Tomorrow I'm doing a live research stream if you want to join me and we can discuss it and I'll answer any questions you may have about a token like Robit. But let's continue going with um, the tutorial here. So, the crypto um, token roll bit, this may be popping up on your, obviously if you're watching this video, you probably know what it is because I just explained it, but a lot of people won't really, I mean, understand what every token does. There's a bunch of tickers that pop up. So the thing is on Banter Bubble, sometimes you'll see projects you may not know that much about them, especially if you're filtering uh, in like the top 200, top 300, top 400, because you can select exactly what uh, what type of project you want to filter by. We're on top 100 right now, but if you're looking for the small cap trades, you probably won't know what a lot of these projects do, but just because you don't know what it does, doesn't mean it's a good investment, right? So what I would like to ask... Uh, not ChatGPT, we're using Google Bard today. Now I would ask it, I would like to ask it what the token RLB stands for, because as I said, you'll get tickers that you don't understand. So here it will tell us that it's essentially roll Bitcoin and it will give us a little bit of information about the platform. So it tells us it's a platform, it's a crypto casino, sports betting platform, and it actually even gives us the utility of the token, which is super interesting as well. And even explains that uh, the RLB token is like a governance token of the platform, which is quite interesting. What you can also do is do the same thing we did with SUI. You can get the white paper. You can ask it follow-up questions exactly. I must say Google Bard is very basic. It does make mistakes. It's not perfect, uh, but it is getting better. And even the last update has improved its ability to scrub white papers. So I do, I do think it'll get better over time, but this does give you kind of like, you know, a, a basic understanding of the project. All right, now you have an understanding of the project. You've decided, okay, I like the project. Of course, do your own, use Bard as like a, a starting point, but then, Go further, do your own research. You've decided, all right, I like Rollbit. It's up on the week. You've done your TA and you want to buy. So let's say you've done your due diligence and you've decided that you want to buy Rollbit. When do you get your entry? Well, this is where another AI tool comes in for actually getting entries because Banter Bubble is, I think, really, really good at helping you identify the strong old coins, but you need more information. You can't just look at price action in terms of actually executing trades. Uh, you also need to look at the technical indicators. And one way that you can really get a good grasp on the technical indicators is via using another AI platform like Kyber AI. Uh, because a roll bit, because a lot of the volume is happening on the DEXs, you can start to see when whales and smart money are positioning themselves and also starting to exit and take profits just by monitoring the price activity on chain. I'll show you exactly how to do this. So 
let's use the banter bubbles example of Rollbit. Let's go into Kyber Swap um, and go into the AI function here. If you're not a, a member of the beta testing for Kyber AI, there's a link in the description if you want to access it um, in case you're interested. So uh, what I would do is I would search up RLB. Here's Roll Bitcoin. It's on Ethereum. A lot of the liquidity is on ETH. That's why this will work amazing for this example. And now you have all sorts of information. On-chain technical analysis and um, also price momentum and trading volume statistics that are aggregated using AI from the on-chain data. So KyberSorb is taking all the total buys, all the total sells, all the total trades over your selected time frame, and it's aggregating it to show you momentum, which is amazing because it gives you this Kyber score, which tells you every four hours what the on-chain momentum of the token is saying. Is it ticking into bearish territory? Is it starting to dig into bullish territory? Is it neutral? You can see right now, Rollbit is not extremely bullish. It had a bullish phase, and over the last 12 hours, it started to drop off. So what I do is I, is I take this into account um, to kind of see what the trend is, and then I scroll down, and I start to use this time frame to see how many trades people are making. So are people positioning themselves long, or are people positioning themselves short over the daily, monthly, and weekly time frame? Now, Rollbit... Um, has only had the Kyber integration since August 12th, so only two weeks. So this will be better for the weekly time frame. But other coins, you know, may have larger time frames depending on how long they've been listed. You got to remember, Rollbit uh, only recently got its listing. But you can start to see here already that yesterday we had a significant volume spike, especially on the buy side, which outpaced the sell side by two million. We've seen a reduction today, but buy still outweighs sells. Um, and you can see that some profit taking started to happen in line with the drop in price a couple of days ago before people started to position them, position themselves again. You can also see the net flow to whale wallets. So I actually need to connect uh, my wallet to access this, uh, my other wallet, which I can do in the background. And what this will enable you to do is view if whales are having inflows or outflows into the product. So let me just see if I can get this connected. If not... Uh, I'll show it in another video, but that's okay because it's only one data set. I'll have to show it in another video because it's connected to my other wallet. But you can also see the number of transfers, etc., to indicate on-chain transfers activity. Why is this important, this metric here? Because this is going to tell you if traders or holders of the Royal Bitcoin are transferring to centralized exchanges or not. And if they're transferring on-chain to centralized exchanges, typically, not always, but typically, that indicates that there is uh, some sort of sell pressure for the token because that's why they're putting it onto centralized exchanges so they can sell. If you're seeing transfers on to uh, the DEXs, then that indicates that people are actually holding the coins. So super, super, super good platform for you to actually get some more information for you to be able to make a decision that you can then pair with the charts on TradingView for an entry. So obviously there's key technicals uh, on Rollbit, like there was that key support level at 14 cents. If you paired together a swing in the momentum here on the Kyber score, so you started to see it ticking from neutral territory into bullish territory, and you also saw that pivot off the lows at that 14 cent support, then those two um, confluence indicators would have been a great uh, kind of merging um, of confluence for you to actually be able to take that long trade. And of course, you wouldn't have spotted that long trade in the first place if you didn't see that it was already exhibiting relative strength versus the market. So you can see now when it comes to making long trades, how you can pair up a, a basic software like Banter Bubbles, but an extremely effective software like Banter Bubbles with AI to help you actually execute better trades. Now, it's not just longs that you can do uh, using this strategy. You can also do this on the short side as well. So if you want to look at the, let's say, the daily time frame and see what's showing weakness, we can see Rune is starting to tick into the negative territory along with Frax. I think it's probably better, though. I prefer to stick to the weekly time frame because this shows us like more solidified trends. On the daily, you can have tokens like Rollbit, which pump, and then they're going to be the most down on the daily. And you'll be mistaken for weakness when in reality, it's a strong coin. So actually, monthly and weekly time frames, the higher time frames are slightly better for uh, exhibiting weakness, especially the monthly um, and sometimes the weekly if I'm doing like shorter term trading because you get a better idea of trends. So you can see Pulse X has been down only. If, if you're shorting this more than you were longing this, you would have made money. ApeCoin as well been down only. Um, Pepe as well, although that's a pretty hard one to short sometimes. And that whole, you know, FUD event came out. AVAX uh, been bleeding, of course. A lot of these have had unlocks as well. A lot of token unlocks in the market now. There's not enough uh, demand to actually uh, keep the price up. 
because a lot of tokens buyers dumping onto the market, there aren't enough buyers to step into the market. You see repricing to the downside. And that's what we've seen on a lot of altcoins. And if you use bubbles, you would know this phenomenon is actually taking place. So if you wanted to take a short, you can you know look on the weekly, see what's looking weak. And the next time Bitcoin breaks down, you can aim to short the weak coins. And this really depends on your time frame. If you're a day trader, as I said, you may even prefer to go to this custom uh, settings on the side and filter. So if you click the filter button, you can even use the five minute chart or the 15 minute chart if you're doing like really small time uh, frame trading. So this can be amazing for if you're a day trader and you know, you're know you the type of person that just likes to sit in front of your screen and just look at trading view and monitor things. Um, this will be amazing for you to actually have up on one of your monitors and just track every five to 15 minutes what altcoins are starting to flick uh, bullish and, and, and flick bearish. And you can actually even filter into the top 1,000. So if you want to see these super small coins, uh, you can actually do this. You can look at rank 900. You can look at rank 500. And you can do this on any time frame you want. So the possibilities are endless. And yeah, one more thing you can do, which I think is quite cool, is if you see a token, right? Let's, let's go back to the top 100. If you see a token on the daily and you see it pumping you're like why is it pumping one cool thing you can do is click on it and actually read the chat so because it's an interactive website and everyone's talking on the chats you can actually see reasons and commentary for why something's pumping so if you want to work out why something's pumping you can actually go through here and read uh people's opinions and this can be a good place to get a gauge for sentiment because it's a retail audience bound to bubbles People are going to just be giving their opinions. It's quite interesting to see whether like the general public gets swayed by certain market moves. And sometimes people even post here. I'll see if I can find some, but because you can post images, I've actually seen people actually post charts in here, which is really cool. And yeah, if you want to know something about the project um, that let's say Google Bard doesn't tell you, you could go back on like the SUI chat and ask, hey, could I have some more information? And then someone like this might actually send you some of the top points and top lessons, which is really, really cool. So someone even, uh, the Irishman, uh, one of our researchers even sent um, an interesting like image about up bit volume on SUI increasing as being one of the reasons behind the pump. So super, super cool, super interesting that you can do that as well. I'm not going to you know talk about Bounder Bubbles too much more because I think if you've played around with the platform, you'll know how great it is already. But there is a link in the description, of course, if you would like to use it for yourself. And there's also a link in the description to KyberSwap, which I basically have been using every single day um, if you want to get beta access. As I said, not public access yet, but I highly recommend signing up for the waitlist because the possibilities here are pretty much endless considering that they actually have their own dashboard as well that has their own bullish and bearish rankings every day. So you can pair this with the trends on uh, crypto, um, sorry, bound to bubbles to work out which coins are performing strongly, which coins are performing negatively. And that could definitely help you with your trading. When it comes to trading, it's all about information input. If you can get enough information uh, to line up with confluence on your charts, you're going to be a much better trader rather than just going in blind. Oh, you know, this trend looks good. This trend looks bad. You know, if you actually start with a place of fundamental knowledge, which is always how I've traded, I find my results are so much better because I'm always starting with the edge. Like I know something has strength. I know the fundamentals. And then I can pair, you know, things like TA and on-chain on top uh, for the cherry on the top. But this video, I think, should serve as a nice guide to get those basics nailed down to help you in your trading. I'm going to see you in the next video, uh, which will be tomorrow for a live stream. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you later. Peace out.